Thank you for calling Yonex. Yonex Customer Services, Eric, speaking, how may I help you? Hi, Eric. Uh, I'm interested in getting a rapid... Hello? Hello, yes, hello? I can't hear you, sir. Sorry about that, sir. Is that any better? Yeah, it's a lot better. Good. Hello? I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so, yes, my name is June Stewart. How are you, sir? I'm uh, interested in getting a racket from you guys. Okay. Right, so can you send me one through the post so that I can have a look at it, a proper look? A post? Yes, post. You mean send you, just send you a racket? Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, we don't... Like give out rackets just for no well, you don't need to. Here. You don't need to give that out. I just want to have a closer look at it, and so I want you to send me one through the post it's for marketing. Right? You can do that. Um. Actually, we don't do that. Just give it out to the public, and no, you know. What makes you think I'm public? I may be. I may be wanting to set up a contract so that I can sell them in wholesale. Well, I mean, you didn't explain yourself, sir. So I was just assuming that you're just a regular no. consumer or something. I know. I'm thinking about uh, selling a lot of them on eBay. You're what? On eBay. I'm trying to start up an eBay business. Oh, we don't we don't allow eBay sellers for our um you know, like if you want to set up an account with us, we do not allow you to sell on eBay. You do not allow me to sell on eBay, that's interesting. No, not with our products if you want to buy from us directly. Uh-huh. And uh, how much would it cost if I did buy wholesale? I couldn't give you that information because you're not a you're not a, a dealer of ours. That's not very good. Uh, what do I have to do to become a dealer? Oh, you would have to get a storefront and mm -hmm. have a resale license. Uh -huh. Where are you it? located, sir? I'm located a long way away, but that's it? That's all I have to do? Yeah, I mean, you would have to be in the U.S. also. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. I am in the United States, but I'm not, uh, I'm not in California. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Where are you located? What uh, territory? No, so I'm, I'm in New York. Our sales rep would have to go to your store and check it out and stuff, too, to no, even approve it. Well, the store's not even existing That's what I yet, need to know. Is, is, you, you know, I'm just trying to find out prices, first of all. I wouldn't be able to give you that out until you set up an account with us. Or, you know, you could, if our sales rep goes in that location, goes to your store and talks to you and sees that you do have a storefront. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's it, you can't send me a racket? No. Not even on the side, you can't send me a racket? No, I cannot, sir. Why not? I mean, we just don't give out rackets, just like, you know... Well, nobody needs to know if you send me a racket. Excuse me? Nobody needs to know if you send me a racket. I can't do that, I mean, I could get in trouble for just sending out a racket. Well, who's gonna I know? I cannot just send... Uh, what do you mean, who's gonna know? Yeah, just me and you, right? No, I cannot send you out a racket, sir. Why not? I'll pay you for it. No, I cannot send you out a racket, sir. I'm telling you. So I don't think that's fair. I, I could lose my job for this. If I do find... Someone finds out I could lose my job for this. I'm not going to take that risk. You couldn't lose your job for sending out a racket. I'm not going to send out a racket and sell your racket on the personally, personally on the side. Well, how about a bag? Can you send me a bag? Excuse me? Can no, me I cannot send you any product of ours. Well, how about some shoes? I just said no product, sir. Oh, okay. All right. Well, what about some shuttlecocks, then? Okay, I don't know how many times we have to go through this, sir. Because I just told you no products. Yes, I understand that, but, you know, I just... I, but I, you, I, keep, you keep asking me for products. I'm not going to give you out any products. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing because I really I wanted to do some business with Yonex because you're such a great company, you know. And um, how about just the shoelace or just the strings for the racket? No, sir. Why not? I'm letting you know, no, sir. Not the strings, not the shoelaces. You can't. What about just like a chip? If you just snapped a bit off the racket and then just sent me that, you could say it was defect or something. No, sir. No. That's disappointing. What did you say your name was again? My name was Eric. Your name was Eric, but what is it now? Yeah, my name my name's Eric. All right, okay. All right, Eric. All right. So, <clears throat> all right, let's see. Um, all right. So, is there, there must be some sort of way we can do this. What do you mean? 
Well, you know what I mean. You know, I think uh, you know if you maybe if you like chip the racket at the top, I'd just play badminton. Oh, I'm not going to break a racket here and and send you one. No, sir. Hmm. Eric, I'm I'm very upset about that because I was hoping you know you could send it to me. You know. Um, that's fine. That's fine if you're upset, but I'm not gonna send. I'm not gonna chip a racket, ruin a product, and send you a racket. But you guys make about 300 a day, don't you? Like 300 rackets a day in your. That's little... a, that's besides the point, sir. Are you gonna give me your car? Why not? Yeah, do you want my car? I can I can send yeah, it. Yeah, go car ahead and send it to me. Like. Send it over to California for me, sir. What's your? Address? Send it over here. No, send it to our um, office. I'll send you a car to your office. I tell you what, go in the car park and there will be a car there for you. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Make it, yeah, have it delivered here tomorrow for me, sir. It's in the car park already. I've already done it. Yeah? Yeah, it's a blue Ford. Oh, okay. I don't want a Ford, though. What do you want? Um, Something you probably wouldn't be able to afford, but uh, What's I don't that? want a Ford. Well, okay, well, I uh, want a racket, all right? And I want a pair of shoes and a bag. That's fine, sir. If you want a racket, drinks. you could go ahead... You go ahead and purchase one anywhere. Well, in the why do you think I called to see if I can get it for free? I I, I don't want to. I don't. We yeah, don't I, give anything out for promotional use for that kind of use, sir. I'm, I'm letting you know. But why? What What do you mean, why? Yeah, why? Everything, why not? Because we're 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 a place where sells product. We sell products. We don't give out products for free. But it could be like a demo product. You know, you could look at it that way. No, sir. I mean. <laughs> You could get demos from Tennis Warehouse, any of our authorized dealers. Oh, they can give me a racket for free? Well, I don't know if they'll give it to you for free, but they'll let you demo it. Oh, so they'll send if it you to you me through the credit card. If you give them a credit card number, and if uh, you get them your address and everything, mm -hmm. they could send you a demo racket for, a, I believe, about two weeks. You could go really? ahead and do that. What if I keep it after two weeks? I don't know, sir. That's that's between you and them. Do you have a number for them? Um, I mean, you could contact them through tenniswarehouse.com. Tenniswarehouse.com. Right. What about the bags and the shoes? I mean, I would need those too, obviously. I mean, can I get demos on them? No. No, no. So do well, how do I get those demo. then for free? I wouldn't know. Well, can't you steal them for me and just send them in the post? Are you being for real, sir? Of course I'm being for real. Or are you just trying to prank call us? You, you, it seems like you're just trying to make a prank call, huh? Why would I be making a prank call? That's not... <laughs> That's what it seems like, because you really? just want me to get fired or something. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want you to get fired, man. Are you, are you going to put this on... You, it seems like you're going to put this on YouTube or something. On YouTube? That's a video website. Yeah. Why would I put this on a video website? This is I don't video. know, just to be funny. Just to be funny. Well, I don't think yeah. it would be very funny. I don't think anybody would laugh at it, do you? I think it's kind of funny how you're just asking for all this free stuff and you're just trying to get me angry. Well, I, I mean, That's I don't want you is. to get angry. I just want you to send me the bag oh, and but the shoes. Yeah, come on. La, 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 la. I mean, it would work, wouldn't it? If you just <laughs> sent me the shoes. Uh, Eric? Yeah, it's customer service. It's Eric speaking. I'm up here. Hello? Yes? Excuse me? Hello? Are you going to give me your car? Who is this? Oh, you called back again, huh? Your name's Eric? My name's Eric. Your name is Eric? My name was Eric. I can't even hear you, sir. You're going to have to call me back. Are you being for real, sir? Just a recording. How can I help you? Okay, I don't know how many times we have to go through this, sir. That's his yeah. Yeah. It seems like you're going to put this on YouTube or something. Yeah, because he was crinkled, I was like, you, you, you know, and he keeps... You're what? He scrambled the words around. Yeah? Makes sense. Bye. How can I help you? My name's Eric. <laughs> yeah, Nick, how can I help you? You mean send you, just send you a racket? Hello? You're what? Hello? Excuse me? Wow. Are you being for real, sir? Yannick, how can I help you? Good morning. How are you? That's the e bomb. That's Arnold. No, it is not true. Hi. 
Yannick, how can I help you? Are you being for real, sir? Yeah. I can't hear you, sir. Are you going to give me your car? What do you mean? Yeah, I did say that. Are you being real? Yeah? Excuse me?